good to have you with us. Settle down and be comfortable. Lend us not only your ears, but your deepest concentration while we tell you a strange and macabre story. Where do you live? Peoria? Salt Lake City? Buffalo? Memphis? Huh? Where? Springfield? Manchester? Spokane? Hackensack? No. No, you don't live in any of those places. Or in any other place that has a name. You live, each one of you, night and day, year after year, in the nameless, hidden places of your own mind. Mr. Z, who ever dreamed up the black room anyway? I have no idea. Somebody must have. There's always been a black room, Mr. K, far as I know. Hell of a place. Yes. How long do you think he'll last? Matter of days. Weeks, possibly. Then what? He'll go mad. Or die. Our mystery drama, The Black Room, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Elspeth Eric and stars Larry Haynes. It is sponsored in part by Buick Motor Division and Anheuser-Busch Incorporated, Brewers of Budweiser. I'll be back shortly with Act One. There is a fresh new spirit sweeping the land. A free spirit that demands good products. Products that satisfy your sense of good taste and desire for economy. But above all, products that perform. Buick has been touched by this spirit. And this year, our crisply designed, solidly built Buicks will bring joy even to the most demanding of free spirits. The 1975 Buicks, dedicated to the free spirit in just about everyone. Hi, this is Pearl Bailey. Today, I'm not going to try and entertain you. Instead, I'm going to put before you the distressing story of the needy children of the world. They need your help. The bright side is that you can give them all of this by working with Save the Children Federation. Together, you can forge a better world, one in which children can have hope instead of despair. To find out how, you write today to Save the Children Federation, Box 120, Grand Central Station, New York, New York, 10017. Please help these children. All over Monroe County, we're faced with the difficult problems of today. If we're going to solve them, we'll all have to get involved. We need leadership more than ever before, but we can't do it without you. So if we all get together, we can put it all together. So let's all join together and vote with us. This message has been brought to you by a lot of Monroe County Republican people. Ten minutes. It isn't a lot of time, but it can be forever. Ten minutes is all it takes for a child to suffocate inside an unused refrigerator. Don't let this tragedy happen. If there's an unused refrigerator where children play, do one of these things. Seal the door shut, block it open, or remove it completely. Entrapment is not child's play, but a matter of life and death. Somewhere, in some unspecified place, are three men. Three men of no particular distinction and no particular importance except to themselves. Yet the urgency of their speech and the intensity of their attitudes would make you think that something of the gravest consequence is taking place. And for all that I know, it is. Listen now to the story of the Black Room. Why me? Why me? Of all people, I'm a very ordinary guy. I have a wife, I have a home, I have a job, I drink a little, I go bowling, I have some money, I'm, I'm, I'm just like everybody else, so why me? We didn't take you because we thought you unusual. Well, then for God's sake, why? We need information. I haven't got any information. We think you have. Information about what? Look, if I have it, I'll give it to you. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You mean that... What do you want to know? Why did you do it? Do what? You know. I don't know. Do what? 
it's not going to tell us... What am I supposed to know? How could a man like me know anything? Look me in the eye. Step up here. Closer. Look me straight in the eye. Now, why did you do it? I... I didn't do anything. Come on, now. He'll never tell you. What am I supposed to have done? He's hopeless. You guys, I... I never saw you before in my life. Who the hell are you, anyway? I'm the man in charge here. And who's he? My deputy. Well, who gave you the right to bust into my house, drag me down here, and start asking me questions? Well, who gave you the right to do that? It's not a question of right. Well, it damn well should be. But it isn't. Can I make a phone call? I can make a phone call, can I? I'm afraid not. Well, everybody's allowed to make a phone call. That's what I always heard. I want, I want to call my wife, my, my, my lawyer, somebody. Out of the question. We have no phone. You... I never heard of a place that had no phone. Now you have. But you just can't keep me here. It's not right. What's your idea of what's right? We'd really like to know. Well, I... I can't tell you offhand like that. I don't know exactly. Quite so. Neither do we. Mr. K, I think it's time for the black room. Right. Come with me, please. Come with you where? No, I'm not going anywhere with you. Come on, come on. I don't have yes, to you go. you do. Come on. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Right this way. I don't understand any of this. What is this place you're taking me to? What, what, what did he call it? The black room. Why, why do you call it that? Because it's black. Why, painted black, black walls, black furnishings, what? Well, there aren't any furnishings, it's just a room. And it's black. You're putting me in solitary. You'll be alone. There we are. Step in, please. Well, I... I, I can't see a thing, nothing. It, it, it's black. That's why it's called the black room. Well... Switch on a light. There is no light. Once I close this door, there'll be no light of any kind. Oh, you can't do this. Get out of my way. No, no, let no me... just... Help! Oh, Somebody help! Don't make help! Such a fuss. Cut it out. I'm going to close this door. Are you there? Are we, are we both in here? Well, say something. Are you here? You haven't any matches on you by any chance? Or a lighter? No. Once I go out that door, you'll be in total darkness and total silence. No light, no noise, no sound of any kind. Only what you make yourself. I don't see why... You'll be fed once a day, never at the same time. How, how, how will I know when? It'll be either before you get hungry or after you stop being hungry. You, you'll bring it to me? You'll find it somewhere on the floor. Well, how will I find it if I can't see it? You'll feel around till you come to it. There'll be bread and water. And once in a while, if I'm in the mood, some cheese or a piece of fruit. Okay. Got it? Uh, w will you, uh... Will you tell the warden something for me? The who? The warden? Well, whoever he is. The keeper. Keeper? Well, you know who I mean. The man in charge. That's Mr. Z. The end of the line. Tell him what? Tell him that I... That you what? I, uh... I've forgotten. Well, it's a good beginning. Keep it up. Oh, wait a, wait a second, wait. What now? Let me look at the light. Look at it. Okay. That's all. <sighs> Anything to fear. Fear itself. Yes. Why am I whispering? I shouldn't be shouting. What's that? I hear something. I, I hear. What is that? It's my heart. It's my heart beating. I'm hearing my own heart. The only thing I can hear is my own heart. My. my... Shh, 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 shh. Quiet, quiet. Quiet down. Quiet, quiet. 
That's better. Yes. That's better. Much better. Better. Yes. How did it go? Very routine. Good. He fussed a little. Oh? I found it necessary to step inside with him for a few seconds. No trouble, though. He went numb pretty fast. I thought he would. He wanted me to give you a message, but then he couldn't remember what it was. Oh, uh, and he thinks you're some kind of a warden. A warden? Or a keeper. Poor man. You know, Mr. Z, I didn't much like it inside that room. You knew you were coming out. Who ever dreamed up the black room anyway? I've no idea. Somebody must have. There's always been a black room, far as I know. Hell of a place. Yes. How long will he last, do you think? Matter of days. Weeks, possibly. Then what? He'll go mad. Or die. Wonder what he's doing now. Oh, counting by twos, then by threes, then by fours. Anything to keep from thinking. That's what they all do. Remember things. Beautiful things. Remember the ocean, the sand, the sounds of the sea, the waves, winds, running on, on the beach. Oh, God, I'm crying. These are my tears. Now, come on, now, let's not have any of that. None of that. Now, just remember other things. The, the house, no. Not, not the house. I'm not ready to think about the house. Ah, oh, school. Ah, oh, yes, school. Ah, oh, uh, Matthew Arnold, English poet, 1822 to 1888. Yeah, something like that anyway. Ah, uh, is it so small a thing to have enjoyed the sun, to have lived light in the spring, to have lived, to have thought, to have done? To... I don't know the rest. Oh, sleep. I want to sleep. No, no, I'm afraid to sleep. Will I ever sleep? What? What's that? I heard something. Yes, I, I hear that something. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet, quiet. Shh, shh, shh. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, God. God. It's a rat. They've let a rat in here. I'm shut up with a rat. Where, where, where is that? Where, where is that rat? I'll kill it. I'll kill it with my bare hands. Where is it? Where is that? Where, where, where? Enough of that. Just lie down on the floor. Stretch out. Just let go. What'll happen will happen. Just let it happen. That's the best way. Don't fight. Don't struggle. Just lie quiet. Empty your mind. Yes. It doesn't matter if my eyes are open or closed. Isn't that funny? They're not really funny. When I go to sleep, will my eyes close or will they stay open? Yes, I can feel my eyelids raise themselves up. Now I feel them come down. But everything's the same. Black, just... Black. It ran over my hand. The rat, the rat ran across my hand. Where, where is it now? I don't hear it. Did I imagine that? Did I ever hear it? Did I really feel it? There, there. I hear it. I hear it again. Now, why would they do that? Why would they put me in a black room with a rat? They must be devils. Where is that rat now? Shh, shh, shh. makes a noise. Shh. Oh, again. 
ran across my hand again. And wait, wait, wait. Just hold on now. Hold on. Hold on, it's not so bad. The rat didn't bite you, did he? No. No, he simply ran across the back of your hand. That's all. You're not hurt. You're perfectly all right. Perfect. Oh, you don't sound like such a big rat. Oh, you sound like kind of a very small rat. Oh, you could be a mouse. Sure. A very small little mouse. Why not? Now, if I should just lie here quietly with my arms spread out like this, would you run across my hand again? Would you? Huh? Hey, you see, I'm, I'm calmer now. I'm much, much more relaxed. I'm waiting. Ah, ah, there you are. Oh, on my fingers. You know, such light little feet, so delicate. Oh, I think you must be no more than two inches long. How are you, my friend? Huh? How is my mouse chum? My pal, Mr. Mouse. How's everything with you? Okay? Good. Me? Oh, I'm I'm managing. So far? So far so good. Yeah. You know, I think I can hold out for a while, anyway. At least I'm not alone. Not altogether alone. Not quite. The great horror is the fear of being alone. Man will do anything, suffer anything to avoid it, and to postpone that crucial moment when, no matter what he does or what he suffers, he must face his own essential aloneness the very last moment of his life. We'll be back shortly with Act Two. Who knows how to help you solve your shopping problems? Your Better Business Bureau. I'm Inspector Pry, Miss. Violet, Inspector. Miss Violet. According to the report, uh, you say someone is hiding in your house. Oh, I'm sure of it, Inspector. I've found things. Sweaters, blouses like mine, but they're not mine. They're much too small for me and all faded and torn. I'll help you, Miss Violet. Who are you? I'm the man from the Better Business Bureau. Those are your clothes, Violet, and you aren't taking very good care of them. Before you buy your clothes, understand what's on the label. For example, if you buy a garment which is labeled pre-shrunk, make sure you understand the cleaning instructions on the label before you wash. And I thought, oh, from now on I'll read the labels before I buy. Ah, and uh, no more shrinking, Violet. Just another helpful tip from your Better Business Bureau. Some people think we play ping pong all day. They're wrong. The USO isn't all fun and games. Today, the USO has millions of problems like this one in Germany. My family's going crazy living in a tiny apartment. Where can we live? Today's USO has millions of problems like this one in Asia. I'm hooked on drugs. Where can I get help? Or this problem in Athens. Our marriage is breaking up. Can you help us? Today's USO has little time for ping pong. We've got serious work to do. We've got lots of new problems here and overseas. The problems are big. How big? Well, if someone asks you, who needs the USO? Tell them, we do, we do. Over 5 million American military personnel and their families need today's USO. And because we get no government funds, we need all your support. Please give to USO through the United Way or local USO campaign. The simple man we have chosen to be our hero is confined in the black room, a bare place without light or sound. But by chance or fate... For the mercy of God, he has found a companion, a mouse no bigger than his thumb. This tiny creature has become his sole defense against the terrors of being alone. 
Sit here on my hand. And let me stroke your head, Mr. Mouse. There. You like that? Hmm? Tell me you do. Somehow let me know that you do. You don't know how much it would mean to me to know that I was giving pleasure to, to someone. That's one of the chief horrors of being cut off from everything and everyone. There's no one to serve, to help, to, to amuse. Yes, that sounds strange, I suppose, but I, I never knew till now how important it is to bring pleasure and comfort and amusement into other lives. Will I ever laugh again? That's too much to expect. Yes, I know that. I don't mind crying anymore. I cry a lot. I don't care. When I weep at the hopelessness of it all, I feel somehow it's not quite so hopeless. Now, why is that? Do you know, Mr. Moss? Mice don't cry? Is that what you're saying? Mice take life as it comes. Yes, but men can't do that. Men rebel and struggle and suffer. Oh, yes. Yes, how they suffer. Oh, are you agreeing with me? Or are you telling me you're hungry? You, you know what I have for you this time? Some cheese. Yes. They left me a piece of cheese this time. I ate most of it, but there are some crumbs. And they're in the breast pocket of my shirt. Now, if you just get into my pocket, way down at the bottom. You're, you're easy, easy now. Don't be frightened. Now, you know I wouldn't do anything to hurt you, my little friend. There. Head first. Down you go. <laughs> ah, yes, you found them. You found the crumbs of cheese. You're, you're eating, and I'm almost laughing. <laughs> Not quite, but almost. I'm almost laughing because you're so pleased. I gave him a piece of cheese this time. What for? Oh, I don't know. Just to give him a little hope, I guess. Well, if you want to drag it out, bread and water get so monotonous. I imagine the last thing in the world that concerns him is monotony. Well, it gets monotonous for me, too. You say he's eating well. So far, every crumb. That won't last. I suppose not. Not if he's like the others, it won't. A few more days, then... Now stay out of my way, Mr. Mouse. Don't get hurt. I'm just looking for our food. Well, maybe he hasn't left it yet. You know, there hasn't been any cheese for a long time. No, I can't count the days anymore, but it's been a long time. Oh, I found it. What is this? What? What? It's an apple. Imagine an apple. Say, I wonder. I wonder, is it red or green or yellow? Perhaps I could tell by the taste. Hmm. Macintosh. Or have I forgotten the taste of apples? I used to know it so well. You want some, do you? Now, where might I bite off a piece for you? And you know where it is. Come on, come on, come on now. You know. The pocket. It's in the pocket. That's, that's it, that's it. Now I can feel you move against my chest. I think I have never felt... Anything so comforting. Now, how... How did I get here? How did I come to be living in a soundless, lightless room with a friendly mouse? It's almost... Almost laughable, but I've forgotten how to laugh. But think about it. How did I arrive at this place, these circumstances? For that matter, how did I arrive at... at any of the places, any of the circumstances of my life. I planned, yes. Yes, I made plans. But they never seemed to work out precisely as I planned them. Ah, uh, the marriage. It looked all right, but it wasn't quite what I meant. The job. Yes, the job seemed to be a good job, but it wasn't quite what I'd expected. The house. It was a good house. 
a nice house. But not... Not quite... Oh, are you coming out of my pocket now, Mr. Moss? Have you had enough? Huh? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Are you trying to get inside my shirt? What for? What, what do you want? Oh, oh, I know. To be close to me is that... Ow! Hey, what was that? What did you do? You know, I felt something... Uh, there it is again. Hey, I, I think you're pulling out the hairs on my chest. Is that what you're doing, Mr. Miles? Ah, yes, 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 you are. Now, why? Why would you do that? Not, not to hurt me. I know you would never hurt me. I, I, are you playing? Are you making up a game trying to divert me from the awfulness? Yes, you're, t you're telling me it could be worse. There, there are things we can do. There is always something. It is never absolutely hope hopeless. Oh, little mouse. You're trying to make me laugh. I gave him an apple today. If you want to play the game that way, I can't stop you. He ate every bit of it. There wasn't a thing left on the plate. No core, nothing. I wonder how he manages to keep up his appetite. Maybe he exercises. After this long, they lose interest. Yes. After all, what's the point? Hope can't last forever. It's got to die. Sooner or later. Well, with this one, it looks as if it's going to be later. Yes. But eventually. What makes him hang on? I wish I knew. I'd give anything to know. It's down here two weeks. Two weeks tomorrow. Should I, uh... Should I go in after him? No, no. No, wait a while longer. He can't last. You're sure about that? No one ever has. It's only breadcrumbs today. Sorry, Mr. Mars. Hey, where are you? Mars? Mars, I have breadcrumbs for you in my pocket. Now, where are you? Are you here? Why don't you come when I call you? Now, there's no place to go in this blackness. I can't look for you. I might hurt you. Now, why don't you come when I call you? I have food for... Oh. Oh, what a fool I am. You've gone out of the black room. You've escaped. But where? How? There must be a place. Yes, you haven't always lived in this room. You came in at some point, and now you've gone out. But where? How? There must be a place, a little place, a tiny hole. Yes, a tiny hole big enough for a mouse to get through. No, where? Where? You don't live here all the time. The black room isn't your only home. I mean, not your permanent home. You wouldn't pick a place like this. No mouse would do that. Nobody, nobody would do that. No, no, you came here from somewhere else. You must have. There must be a hole someplace. And you came through that hole, and you've gone out through that hole, and I'm going to find it. What's this? Is this it? Oh, that's so tiny. That's so tiny. Is that a hole? A hole just big enough for a mouse to slip through? Yes, 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 I think it is. Then on the other side, there must... There must be something. The blasted hole is right next to the floor. It's no bigger than my thumb. Oh, I can't get my face up to it. Yes, 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 I can, I can, I can. I see. I, I, I see a light. I see light. A very little, little light. Oh, thank you. Th thank whatever, whoever you are for this little bit of light. What, what's happening? What's happened to the light? There, there's still a little, but there's something... Something gray. Some, something milky, milky gray. What? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, it's, it's my mouse! He's, he's on the other side of the hole. I'm looking into the small gray eye of my friend. Oh, Lord, it's too much. <laughs> Who could think of such a thing? Who could think... That I would be straining at a mouse hole 
bent almost double <laughs> to look into the eyes of my friend, the mouse. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. I can't, I can't comprehend <laughs> what is there to do. <laughs> what is there to do but laugh? <laughs> He's off his feet. Hardly ate anything the last few days. So, it's starting. What's starting? The decline. I knew it would, sooner or later. I think I'll give him some fruit next time. I really don't know why you want to bother. Maybe some cheese, too. Suit yourself. Look, the idea was never to starve the poor fool. If that was the idea, I wouldn't give him anything at all. He's beginning to starve himself. Can he do that? It's simple. Stay away from food and water. You'll be gone in a few days. No kidding. Animals know that. Well, I never knew it. There's lots of things animals know that men don't know. Especially you. If I could cry. But there's a place beyond crying. Yes, there's a, there's a despair too deep for crying. Here, in the dark, in the silence, there's nobody. Not a creature is stirring, not even a mouse. <laughs> I can't laugh either. I think my life is closing. What? Oh, oh, you're back. You're back, are you? You're in the pocket of my shirt. Well, I, I have some cheese and, and part of a pear. You'll have to come to me if you want it. No, 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 I can't look for you again. I, I just... I just don't care anymore. I just... don't care. I don't care. Anymore. We all know it, but nobody says it. The drama of life is not in battles or elections, or crimes, or even in love affairs. The drama of life takes place in the dark, silent soul of every man or woman who has had the luck or the misfortune to live. We'll be back shortly with Act Three. There's nothing wrong with drinking Budweiser sip by sip, is there? Well, the brewers of Budweiser think there's a better way. Sipping's fine if you're drinking wine. But Bud is the king of beers. A hearty drink. Look, rinse a 10 or 12 ounce glass with cold water. Then, open a can or bottle of Bud and pour it right down the middle so it kicks up a good head of foam. Now, take a big drink and then swallow big. No sips. That's how it should be done. More taste, more beer drinking enjoyment. Thanks to exclusive Beechwood aging, Budweiser has a smoothness that lets it go down especially easy. Sure, it's an expensive way to brew beer, but brewing beer right does make a difference. That's why when you say Budweiser, you've said it all. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis. Right now, but colleges are in financial trouble, and they need all the help that you and I can give them. The dollars you give to the college of your choice are an investment in America's most important asset, the minds of her children. So please, give to the college of your choice now. From 17 to 25, young minds are so alive. A public service message of this station and the Advertising Council. I, 
just don't care anymore. These words were spoken by our nameless protagonist a few minutes ago. And I suppose they are the saddest words anyone can utter. I just don't care anymore. The struggle is over. Life is over. When we just don't care anymore. He hasn't eaten anything for two days. Oh? Last thing he ate was that pear that was two days ago. He's starting down the slide. You sound as if you enjoy this. I don't. I think it's terrible, really terrible. It's necessary. I don't see why. I swear I don't. We need the information, don't we? But do we absolutely have to have it? I don't see why. It's the most important information in the world. I just think maybe it's not worth all this. It's worth all this and more. I don't know why. Look, you're a good fellow. And you're not the stupidest man in the world or you wouldn't be my deputy. But there are certain things that are, let's say, beyond your comprehension. You agree? I guess so. You guess so? I, I'm... I'm sure. I'm sure there are certain things that are beyond my comprehension. Just the same. Yes? What were you going to say? How do I know... They're not beyond your comprehension, too. I hear you. Oh, I hear you, but I don't care. Even if I did care, I'm not sure I'm strong enough anymore to go looking for you. Now, there must be food all over the room. Why don't you go look for it? I'm sure the faithful Mr. K has been leaving it, and I haven't eaten any for, for, uh, oh, for a long time. So, stir yourself and go look for it. Huh? You want me to bring it to you? Well, that's rough. Those days are over, my friend. I loved you. Do you know that? I really did. I thought you loved me in your own little mousy way, but you didn't. I was just somebody to feed you. That's all. Well, our friendship has come to an end. Mr. Moss, has all things come to an end? He isn't drinking any water either. That's too bad. You feeling sorry for him by any chance? Now, don't start up with me, Kay. It's not like you to go soft. I'm not going soft. It's just... Just the... Yes? What? I don't know why exactly, but... I had such high hopes for him. That he'd be different somehow. I really had very high hopes for that man. Well... Maybe one day I'll learn. Nobody survives the black room. Absolutely nobody. Last time, I'll look for you. And I'll bring you the cheese and the pear. My legacy to you, Mr. Moss. My last salute, Mr. Moss. Moratory te salutanos. Well, why wouldn't you come to me? You used to come to me. Why did you stop? You knew I needed you, that's why. I needed you more than you needed me. And when that happens... After all, you had a way out of the black room, and I didn't. Where, where is that little hole of yours, Mr. Moss? I found it once. Where is that? I'd like to see the light once more before the darkness closes in. Where is the little mouse hole? The... Ah, is this it? Is it? Y yes. Yes. Oh, I... Much too weak. I can't get my eye to it. I've forgotten how hard it was. I, I can't. Oh. Oh, there. There it is. The beautiful light. That little sliver of light. The lovely light. Yes, I'm a 
a little stronger now. I'll find you. Just keep talking, Mr. Mass. I'll find you. I think I'm nearer. Just keep talking and I'll find you. You you sound very loud. I must be close. Or is it because my hearing has become sharper? Does that happen? Does the hearing become sharper when there's nothing to hear? Ah, yes, you're very near now, very near. I think, I think I can reach out and touch you. Ah, no, no. Oh, no, 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 that didn't happen. I won't believe it. It happened. I won't believe that I reached out my hand and you bit me. I won't believe that. Not that, no. Oh. But it's true. Yes, it's true. There's no end to it. There's no end, no end to the shots and the suffering and the cruelty and the horror. No end to it. When you think you've borne it all, there's more and more and more. How is he? Not eating, not drinking, nothing. Too bad. I think it's time to go in. You think he's alive? I don't know. He could be, I guess. Okay. Go on in. I hate this part. Oh, Mr. K. Yes. If he should be alive, by some chance, and if he should be even remotely in his right mind... Oh, I doubt that, Mr. Z. I know, but if he should be, take him upstairs and let him take a shower. Let him shave, give him some clean clothes, and bring him down here to me. That's it. If he's alive and in his right mind. Well... There's always a chance. Why did you bite me? I meant you no harm. Why should you turn on me? Explain that to me. I need to know this one thing before I die. Here, 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 look. Here's what I brought you. See? Three little pieces of cheese. And I'll put them down right here. You know what? Do you know what? I could kill you if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Now, for a little while, you kept me from going mad. And for that, I'm grateful. Yes. So, go on. Go on, bite me if you want to. I won't mind. Go ahead. You're not saying anything, Mr. Moss. Are you still here? Or did you run away? Did you run? To your mouse hole? Did you run through to the other side to live in the light, in the beautiful light? Or are you still here? Hmm? Why don't you say something? Now, what's this? Is that you? Is this your little furry body? Huh? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Wait, no. No. What is that? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that, that, that can't be. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. Why? Why, well, you're not Mr. Mouse at all. You're, you're Mrs. Mouse. You're, you're Mother Mouse. Four, four, five, five baby. Five, five? How many? Oh. Yes, you were afraid I might hurt them. That's why you bit my hand. Yes, yes, I understand. But now you trust me. Now, now, now you know. Oh. Oh, Mother Mouse. My beautiful little Mother Mouse. My dear, dear friend. Do you know I'm crying again? And my tears are falling on you and on your children. <laughs> what, what, what? I came to get you. What? Come on. You can see your way to the door, can't you? Yes, yes. Well, come on. Nothing like a shave and a shower, am I right? I think you've lost a little weight, a few pounds. Oh, here. I brought you some clean socks. I hope they're the right size, I have to guess. You care to weigh yourself? There's some scales over there. 
No, thank you. The rations were pretty thin, I know that. Now, how did you like the fruit? What? The fruit I left for you, and the cheese. Did you like it? Very much. I thought you would. Hey, don't put that shirt back on. I brought you a clean one. Here. I think it'll fit. Thank you. Now, give me your old one, and I'll throw it out. Don't touch that shirt. Huh? Keep your hands off that shirt. You want to save it? It's pretty dirty. I want to save it. I'll wash it for you. No, leave it alone. You want it the way it is? Just the way it is. Do you say so? Well, you ready? Yes. Let's go visit Mr. Z. He's dying to talk to you. You look rather well. Surprisingly well. Please, sit down. I'm glad to see you. Are you really? Yes, really. Very glad. You've no idea how glad. It's been, let's see, 26 days. That's remarkable. Truly remarkable. Um, tell me something, if you can. How did you do it? How does a man survive 26 days in the black room? Can you tell me? I really want to know. What does a man need to have to come out of there intact? He, he needs... He, he needs to care for some living soul. That's all he needs? He, he needs to care a lot. That's all? Just that? That and a little light. You're very tired, aren't you? Yes. It's been quite an ordeal. Oh, yes. We'd like to give you a complete physical examination before you go, if you don't mind. I, I can go? Also a psychiatric testing. And, and then I can go? One other thing. Oh. And what's that? After we've completed the examinations, would you be so kind, sir, as to address a few words to the membership? Not a long speech. We wouldn't expect that. If you'd expand a little on what you've told me here... Now, wait a moment. What membership? Don't you know? Well, how am I supposed to know? I thought you'd guess. Is, is this a, a club? Some some kind of a cult? Not precisely a club. Certainly not a cult. Well, then what, what is it? Who are the members? People in trouble. Troubled people. But... But that's practically everybody. Quite so. Yes. Will you talk to them, sir? They'd be ever so grateful. Then you can go home. Where do you live? Main Street? Lakeshore Drive? Mulberry Lane? Park Place? Lenox Avenue? Corner of Fourth and Walnut? Three miles out on Route 7? Come now. You know better than that. You may hang your hat anywhere at all, but you live in the black room of your own mind. I'll be back shortly. If you take a look at the 1975 cars, you'll notice a European influence. And there are some new American cars that rival the Europeans. One being Buick's new Skylark SR with its touring car interior and spirited little V6 engine. But don't think of the Skylark SR as a European tourer. We're proud of the fact that it's a Buick. You will be, too. Buick. Dedicated to the free spirit in just about everyone. A variety of assistance is available to the blind. Rehabilitation and library services can be had in every part of the nation. Cash payments for the needy and training in skills and techniques. You can help. For information, contact your local affiliate of the National Federation of the Blind or write me, Kenneth Jernigan, President, National Federation of the Blind, 218 Randolph Hotel Building, Des Moines, Iowa, 50309. Has our little story depressed you? Made you unhappy? I hope not. And if it has, I'm sorry. 
I'd like to leave you with a piece of gentle advice. As long as you must live in the black room at the center of yourself, get to know it. Know it well. It will frighten you, yes. But it will reward you, too. In ways you would hardly believe. Our cast included Larry Haynes, George Petrie, and Peter Collins. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. Now, a preview of our next tale. What is the whole contract? That while a person owns this dark imp in the bottle, any request that concerns money, gold, or wealth, no matter how unreasonable, will be satisfied. And that to dispose of this creature and its spell, you must sell it for less than your original price. How? Oh, here. Seven dollars and forty. Uh, five. Five dollars is enough. Okay. Cheap at nearly half the price. Oh, think first, Barry. Think. Remember, it will keep you rich as long as you live. But remember, too, if you do not sell it for less than you paid for it before you die, your soul will surely rot in hell for eternity. Radio Mystery Theater was sponsored in part by Anheuser-Busch Incorporated, Brewers of Budweiser, and Buick Motor Division. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams... (laughs) 